Hello, my fellow lobsters, and today we're going to be doing a the second episode of our Hypixel Skyblock world. Today, I'm going to be leveling up my mining level, so then that way I can get to the deep caverns to get myself a better set of armor. So, I'm going to start with leveling up my cobblestone minion, and one of the fastest ways to do this, instead of picking up the minion every time you want to level it up, is to click on the gold bar that says next tier, click on it, and then you go and you click on the actual minion, and it will take items out of your inventory and level it up for you. Okay, apparently I need more. So I'm just going to use this, and get a little more, and then once I have finished getting all of that, I will level up my minion to the next level and I will craft a an, an iron minion and I I think I also need to add an auto smelter to that otherwise I'll have to smelt every single piece of iron it mines because it will naturally mine iron ore so I believe I have enough now let me just check yep okay perfect and I only had two left Okay, so here's how you create an iron minion. You need to create first create oh, I already have one. You first need to create a wooden pickaxe. Then you need your or you need your 80 iron and the recipe is you put the wooden pickaxe in the middle and then you surround it with iron ingots and you need 10 on the whole thing and you get your iron minion. And then the auto smelter you need um, a total of, I believe it's 64 cobblestone and, yeah, 64 cobblestone and one coal makes one auto smelter. So, I'm going to quickly go to the coal mine and I'm going to get myself a good amount, amount of cobblestone so that way we can continue the um so that way we can continue our mining levels and everything like that so i think i can explain a little bit more about skyblock while i'm doing this so i'll try and explain it to you so one of the main things is that um, you definitely need to mine and level up your stuff a lot so that way you can unlock new areas and gain more bonus stats because if you don't level up your stats you won't be as powerful as how you could be if you did level them up and uh, minions are a huge thing if you don't use your minions then the the um or if you don't use your minions you will not be as good as you could be and obviously you need a lot of money so I have got my cobblestone that I needed so I'm gonna go back to my island and crap and get my iron minion ready okay so believe oh my gosh okay so I I am pretty much 100 percent sure there is one piece of coal. Yeah, there it is. So there's actually one piece of coal hidden inside your um the island that Jerry starts on, and I'm and that is the only piece of coal in that entire island. So if you need one piece of coal for some reason, like crafting an auto smelter, then that's where you'd find it. Okay, so for my iron minion, this time I'm going to craft a shovel so I don't go through what happened last time. And for shovels, I believe you only need a golden shovel uh, because I'm, or a flint shovel because that's the best. But I don't have the anything else. But since golden shovels are as fast as diamond shovels or faster, I'm not entirely sure, um, and everything's unbreakable and gold you can also enchant easier 
and you can unlock it in the game earlier, it's a huge, it, it's so much better than Diamond, than in the normal vanilla Minecraft. So I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna finish this part of my, um, island, and then I think we're gonna be going off to the mines. So, gonna have to place a, my iron minion right here, right click on him, and by the way, this is where you put your upgrades for your minions, so you just drop your auto smelter in here, and he will automatically smelt anything that he mines. And keep in mind this, if you don't have a coal minion, or you don't feel like having one, or for some reason you just need some extra coal, you can actually put an auto smelter in a um in an oak minion and it will automatically smelt any wood getting you charcoal, which is a different strategy that also works pretty well. Just it just depends skyblock just depends on what you actually need. For example, yet again, I probably just need this golden axe as well, because it will mine faster than this sweet axe. This sweet axe does drop apples, so I'm going to put it in my universal ender chest. By the way, you have an ender chest in this stat area, and you can just drop your sweet axe or anything that you want to have to save in there. So I'm going to put that, I put that in there, I go off of it, and now I can access it from any time using my nether star. And then, yes, Sir Jerry, I've actually not used these yet, I believe, and I'm pretty sure I'm super close to being the next mining level so I'm going to get myself a golden pickaxe so I can hopefully mine faster and yes I do have a ton of golden to tools in my hotbar which normally you would never do but since skyblock is much different than normal vanilla minecraft having go golden tools in your hotbar is actually a good idea. Oh yeah, and I did mention in my last video that I would show you what the telekinesis enchantment is and how to get it. So I'm going to show you how to get it the easiest way right now. So basically you just go to the gold mine, which by the way you need to be le mine level 1, which is really easy to get. You just need to mine around like 10 pieces of coal. You talk to Mr. Rusty the janitor. You right click on him. He'll just. He, obviously, he gets really, really, really annoyed by stuff. Um, just laying on the ground and stuff. But if you put your tool in this slot, he'll allow you to get telekinesis, which is one of my personal favorite enchantments. Like, if there wasn't tel telekinesis in this game, I don't know what I would do. Like, it makes it so weird to go back into normal Minecraft when you know how to use telekinesis. But, now I have this faster pickaxe, and all I need to do is to get to mining level 5. So, I'm also going to, since I, um, since I need a gold minion, too, because gold is actually super useful, I'm going to just mine out 80 gold, and then I will be back. Well, I'll mine out 80 gold, actually, and I will also do the, um, 
I will mine out 80 gold, and I will also get to mining level 5, and I'll be back right after that. So, I'll see you when I'm done with that, I guess. Okay, so I have officially collected the amount of gold that I was supposed to. I have 80 gold now, so I just need to get to the next mining level. So I guess I'll just see you when I get to that level. Yeah. And I'll also be grinding for a coal minion at the same time. I really want to get one of those. They're super useful late in later game because you can get these enchanted lava buckets which make your minions faster so i'll see you after i finish that yeah Okay, so I've officially now collected enough gold and coal for what I need to do. So, I, or, and I also can travel to the deep caverns. So, that's the next thing I'm going to do. And by the way, no, the deep caverns is not super deep in the actual mine. That's, that was my first mistake when I was looking for the deep caverns, so don't do the same thing that I just did, that I did earlier. When I first started, um, on my first account, I decided to just go as deep as possible and try and find it, but I couldn't. And then I just saw these people running upstairs and I just realized the deep caverns was just up some stairs. I did the same thing too for the mushroom caverns. I was going to the wrong area, which I seem to do a lot, but usually they make it really easy to get to the, the area you want. So like literally, this is the entrance to the normal area. The deep caverns is right up there. It's going to be always really easy to get to the place that you want. They don't purposely make it super hard so that you'll be like stuck in an area and you can't do anything but now i'm going to actually go to multiple mines and start collecting some stuff so this is the gunpowder mines the first level not really that much exciting stuff happens here and by the way this is my lift operator guy so what he does is when you explore an area you can actually just teleport there, which is a huge thing. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm going to go to the Lapis Quarry, which is where you can get some really good, or not really good, but just armor that even later game players use. And this down here is the Lapis Quarry. Okay, so, I don't, yeah, okay, you can't actually get that there, but, so, I'm gonna just take out a lapis zombie right now, and I'm dealing, like, no damage to them, but now I am combat level one, and I'm hoping... I will be able to 
take out enough of these guys for them to drop some lapis armor, which would definitely be a huge upgrade to the armor I have right now. Obviously, I am getting murdered right now, but... Yeah, let me just see how far I can get against these guys. So yeah, I really need to increase my damage and get a better sword, which I think would be super easy to do. All I have to do is... Oh yeah, wait. Okay, let me just take out these guys. Okay, didn't get any lapis armor, but... I can get a better sword so I'm gonna get to the hub island and I'm gonna buy myself a undead sword an undead sword it does more damage towards undead mobs so it will be super good in the mines where most mobs are zombies so let me just talk to this guy and here it is so, they have the Wither Bow, which deals more damage to Wither Skeletons and those kind of things. They have the Normal Bow, the Diamond Sword, which I don't need, the Spider Sword, the End Sword, and the Undead Sword. Currently, I just need the Undead Sword. So, I don't think I'm going to be needing the Fancy Sword, but this thing will deal 70 damage to the lapis zombies making it much much easier for me to defeat them and also if you're wondering what that thing that says uh or if like when i scroll over that it says this item can be reforged reforging an item gives it a special stat bonus and i'm pretty sure i just need a few pieces of coal to get the uh a free reforge pretty much but after that it will cost you a little bit so your first reforge won't cost you anything but coal after that it will cost you money so just keep in mind that you need to have money in this game or you won't be able to really do anything so I'm just gonna get that last piece of coal that I need and now I can go talk to the blacksmith who is in this area. By the way, just so you know, if you ever collected a rune, this is where you can apply it, at this thing. It gives your items some certain special stuff. Um, okay, so just let me add the reforge. Okay, so this is the item I want to reforge. I put it in here, I click on the reforge button, and now it's hurtful, so it's going to deal more damage. So, I'm just going to stick with a, I'm just going to stick with that one for now. Later, I'll probably try and get a better reforge on my sword. So, yeah. Okay. And, by the way, critical chance and crit damage and strength they all increase your damage and getting criticals is super strong so you really want to try and work towards getting your critical hits more crit chance the better and I'm I'm not entirely sure about this but I think that you don't need to um, use or you don't need to jump when attacking to do criticals I'm not entirely sure if that increases your chances by like 2% or something I'm just used to normal criticaling, so I might do that sometimes. But yeah, that does. I'm pretty sure that doesn't really do anything. But yeah, back to the deep caverns. Okay, I'm gonna see what I can do here and how deep I can get. So I'm just going to go. And by the way, if you click on him he will show you where you can go yeah so right now I'm in the gunpowder mines I'm just gonna go straight to the lapis quarry and see how much damage I can deal okay 75 damage oh wow that was three shot three shots okay 
This is gonna make me so much stronger against these guys. And monsters do drop coins, by the way. So I'm going to go just knock out a couple more of these guys. And then I'll show you the Lapis Miner who can help you improve your minions. Okay. So. Okay, now. I believe I can go find the Lapis Miner. I don't exactly know where he. I'm not the best at finding him again, but I'm pretty sure he's around this area. Okay, let me just unlock the redstone or the pigman's den. And, okay, I'm going to go back up here. And I will show you the lapis miner. So the lapis miner gives you something called a compactor, which can uh, basically increase the storage space of your minions, which is super strong. And you definitely want to talk to him. I'm not entirely sure if he can get you something better because I gave him just a normal pickaxe. So maybe if you give him a better pickaxe than what I give him, then he can get you some better stuff. So I'm going to go find him and then we'll get ourselves a compactor. Okay, so. I know he's in a separate area that's not in the normal place, so... I'm pretty sure he's... Nope, wrong area. Maybe... Okay, yeah, he's definitely over here. Just have to get past these zombies. And at one point, these guys might actually drop some of the armor that I really want. So I'll probably just shove that on my head or whatever I get if I actually get it. Okay, here's the Lapis Miner. You talk to him. He says he broke his pickaxe. And he'll always take the... Um... The smelting touch pickaxe that you get from the um the lazy miners quest thing where you find his pickaxe he'll do that one he'll only take that one i believe or at least that's the one that he usually takes okay so now i have myself a compactor and i'm just gonna kill a few more well actually maybe I could see if I could mine some of this lapis okay I have lapis lazuli collection unlocked I'm going to see what I can get by just running around mining and defeating some zombies I'll see you once I have completed my, I guess you could say, quest. So yeah, I'm going to speed it up. We'll see what I can do.
Okay. I have got the helmet that I wanted, the Lapis Armor Helmet, which has more defense. Let me just go back to my island, or our island, so that we don't have to go through these zombies attacking while I'm trying to explain something. And, okay. It says I'm still in combat. I haven't even attacked yet. Okay. So, I'm back at the island. I'm going to just grab everything that is in my ender chest. And I'm going to just drop that over there. Okay, so, this lapis helmet has 10 more defense than this, and it increases my mining XP by 50%, and my maximum health by 60. So, I have more defense now. I'm going to put this in my combat chest and I'm going to put my rotten flesh in there this lapis in there oh whoops wrong chest um, I'm gonna put this lapis in here all these this stuff and I'm gonna give this guy a compactor and take out all those iron Put this over here. And I'm going to get myself two more minions. And then I'll see you in the next video, I guess. This is going to be the last part of my video for today. And I'm super happy you guys watched the entire thing. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm really happy you guys are supporting my channel. For anyone who actually watched the whole thing, huge thank you to you for watching it. Even though my channel is like super small and stuff, just, yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. Um... Yeah, and I hope the next episode will be a little bit longer, and I'll explain a little bit more than I did this episode, but, yeah, and I guess I'll see you in the next episode, once I get this gold minion down. This episode is going to be over. Just thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.